Hello. Let's talk about butterflies. Butterflies, my, how we have changed. Butterflies are insects and they belong to the order of Lepidedra. Let's see how you pronounce that. That's a big word. Let's see here. Lepidoptera. 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 That's a hard word. Lepidoptera. All right. So, moth also belong to this order along with butterflies. So is a butterfly a moth or is a moth a butterfly? Uh, actually, they're their own species within that order. Most butterflies are very colorful and fly around during the day. Moths are not so colorful and they're mostly nocturnal, although there are a few that fly around during the day. There's even one moth that flies around during the day and it hovers like a hummingbird. And that's the uh, Sphinx moss, the white sphinx moss. Moth, very interesting animal. So butterflies, you can tell the difference between a butterfly and a moth. Butterflies will have very long antenna and sometimes they have little hooks on them so they can clean. But moths are very thick antenna and they are feathery, almost like a fern. Um, butterflies will need to, uh, both butterflies and moths are not, or uh, excuse me, are cold blooded meaning that they are uh, they need outside warmth to keep them warm so butterflies will spread their wings and let the warm air warm them up while moths flying at night there's not as much warm air so they'll flutter their wings and that's what helps keep them warm butterflies fold their wings vertically so they'll fold their wings up like that you have to see a butterfly Flies, yep. A moth, they'll actually do theirs like this. They fold it horizontally. Um, there are over 180,000 types of Lepidetra, and 90% of them are moths. Today we're going to explore a little bit about a butterfly. It also applies to a moth. They go through the same process. Butterflies, they flutter from plant to plant, and you've seen them out in the yard and in the fields fluttering around. What they're doing is they're looking for food, and they could be looking for a place to lay their eggs on. The plant must provide food for the caterpillar once it hatches, so the mom butterfly must pick very carefully because some butterflies only eat one type of food, one type of plant. Other butterflies will pick just about anything. Uh, they lay their eggs. Sometimes they lay them in patterns or in spirals. Sometimes they lay them in rows and sometimes they're just scattered. Now one, some butterflies will lay all their eggs in one spot, but most butterflies spread them out over many different plants so that there's a better chance that the eggs will survive and be able to turn into caterpillars, which will turn into more butterflies. So if you're out looking for butterflies, you should be looking for the eggs also. And look under the underleaf of lay, a, uh, underneath the leaves and look on stems of different plants. And you can see if there's a little teeny, they're very small. Some of them are the only size of a pinhead. So once the eggs are laid, they will hatch in a few days, four to seven days, depends on the type of butterfly. The larvae or the caterpillar um, is exceedingly small. It can be as tiny as a pinhead, like I said. And the first thing that most caterpillars do is eat the shell they just hatched out of. This shell contains a lot of nutrients for the caterpillar and it's going to help it continue to grow and turn into a butterfly. Then they start eating everything they can. They eat all the leaves that they're on and so if there's enough eggs laid on a certain plant and they all hatch and close time together, they could actually strip the whole plant of all of its leaves. The, uh, if the plant isn't healthy enough or doesn't have enough leaves to sustain the caterpillar, then the caterpillar is not going to make it to be a butterfly. Uh, hang on. Lost my page, sorry. So they'll continue to grow. And as they continue to grow, they shed their skin. 
and they can shed their skin four to five times. And each time they shed, they stop eating for just a little while, but they're going to grow up to a hundred times their original size. Uh, once they are big enough and their development has finished, they'll shed their skin one last time. And that different sheddings takes about 10 to 14 days to again, depending on type of butterfly. When that development is all complete, the caterpillar will shed one last time and the skin underneath is what will become the chrysalis, the shell that the butterfly will form in. The new underneath skin will harden and at break down, and then the caterpillar inside that hardened skin will start to break down. Then new parts will start to form, the legs, the antennae, the head, all those start to form and the old caterpillar is gone. And that um, process is called metamorphosis. Say that, metamorphosis here. Let me get, let me show you. Sorry. Metamorphosis. It means to change. And boy, do they change. So we've gone from a butterfly to she laid the eggs. So eggs, see how the little eggs on the leaf. And now we have the caterpillar out crawling around and eating everything in sight. Up, and now we're up to the crystallis, the pupa. So once they're in there, they will stay in the chrysalis for about seven to 10 days, depending on the types of the butterfly. Some can even stay up to two years. That's a long time to stay in the chrysalis. And while they're in the chrysalis, they're at risk of being damaged or being eaten by another critter. So it's a very precarious stage in their life. Once the butterfly matures, it breaks out of the chrysalis and it will, it'll be wet and cold. It's, and inside, it needs to let the blood flow to the wings. So it'll spread its wings out. It'll sit in the warm air and the wings will have to dry and harden before it can fly. And after they fly, they can fly away and start looking for their first meal. And a few weeks later, the butterfly is ready to mate and lay eggs again, starting the process all over again. Let's see, how long do butterflies live? Mm, some butterflies only live a few days. Some live up to 40 days. Some live almost a year. The average is about two weeks as an adult butterfly. But they know but adult butterfly lives longer than a year. Uh, why do you sometimes see so many butterflies in one area? Well, one, they've all hatched. So the mama butterfly has laid eggs and now all those eggs have hatched. The caterpillars have done their thing and have gone on to become butterflies. So they're in their area, they're in their range and that's their home range. That's where they have originated. Most butterflies will stay in that range and keep repeating the process year after year. Some butterflies will migrate and they do migrate. There are 17 different species that can migrate. The monarch butterfly flies 2,500 miles to Mexico every year. It takes four generations to complete this task. That means a butterfly flies for a certain amount it has to lay the eggs, wait for the caterpillar, wait for the butterfly, wait for it to mature, flies on, gets down to Mexico. And then when in Mexico, they'll ha uh, stay down there and then they'll start the process, then come back up again. And every generation of migrating butterflies knows exactly the route to take, even though nobody told them, they just know that it's inborn. Are some butterflies poisonous? Yes, but only the things that might eat them. So most of them, if you touch them, they're not going to hurt you. There are some caterpillars that they'll, they'll, it'll sting. It'll hurt a little bit, but um, usually the butterflies are very, uh, they just taste bad. So that's why people don't eat butterflies. How big can a butterfly get? 
The Queen Alexandra birdwing butterfly has a wingspan of 12 inches. 12 inches, big. Uh, it's a rare butterfly. It lives in the rainforest of New Guinea. And the biggest moth is the Atlas moth, and that's found in Southeast Asia. Excuse me. How small can a butterfly be? The Western pygmy butterfly is the smallest at just half an inch. Just half an inch. It is native to the northwestern part of the United States. And the smallest moth is the Stigmella maya, and it measures 1.2 millimeters. It's very small, very small. And it is found in Yucatan in Mexico. Is there a place where there's no butterflies? Hmm. In the Antarctic and some deserts, there will be no butterflies. But butterflies live in every other country of the world and in every state in the United States. How fast can a butterfly fly? Hmm, let's see. Butterflies can fly as fast as 30 miles per hour. And the smallest butterfly can fly around five miles per hour. But most of the time you just see them gently floating, fluttering from plant to plant. When they're migrating, of course, they're going to be flying because they need some progress to make. When you see the butterflies fluttering from place to place, it's usually because they are looking for food or looking for a place to lay their eggs. If they're flying in a straight line, it could be that they're migrating or that they're fleeing predators. And they do have predators. Yes, they do. Butterflies at different stages, depending on uh, what stage they're in, lots of different things. Wasps believe a butterfly, ants, there's parasitic flies that can eat butterflies, dragonflies, and spiders. And the stages where the butterfly is in, is, is, uh, they're in danger in every stage. Some stages are more dangerous than others. Of course, the eggs, birds will eat the eggs. Uh, ants will take the eggs off. Um, wasps will, hook, will uh, sting and kill a growing caterpillar. If a, and a full-grown butterfly, if it gets caught in the spider web, then it's stuck and the spider gets to have some a meal. Of mammals, birds, bats, and frogs are just a few of the other animals that uh, eat butterflies, caterpillars. Butterflies have adapted their color to warn off predators. They may admit a bad smell or they're just very brightly colored saying, hey, I'm not any good to eat. I'm dangerous. Leave me alone. And they won't be, a, they, the animal knows it's not a good meal. Let's talk about the parts of a butterfly. So we have the head, eyes, the true legs, the abdomen segment, and false legs. So the caterpillars walk after they hatch on their six front legs. They have back fault legs that have little suction cups that help them to hang on the leaves and branches. Some caterpillars that have the six legs front legs, but they only have two pair of the false back legs. Those caterpillars move by inching along. So they just go inch, they inch along. So they're called inchworms. The other parts of a butterfly, they have antennae and that helps them with their uh, sense of smell. It helps them detect odors. The compound eyes are made up of very many faucets and facets of it and they see light in the ultraviolet range. The tongue is called a proboscis. It's a tube-like tongue and the butterfly uses this to drink uh, the nectar of flowers. The thorax is the upper part of the body and all insects have the three parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So the thorax is the upper party part of the butterfly and the legs and the wings are attached and that helps, that's where the muscles are that help the butterfly fly. The abdomen of the butterfly is where the heart is contained, the mag oh, the tubes, it's the kidneys of what they have for kidneys for a butterfly, the re reproductive or, or, excuse me, organs, and the digestive system. The wings, there are two pairs of wings, the forewings and the hind wings, and the wings are covered in little scales. 
Now, if you touch a butterfly, sometimes, or if it gets caught in a web, some of the scales will come off, and then when they fly away, they'll lose a few scales. But that's a normal process. They lose scales all the time. Um, it's best not to touch a butterfly unless you need to. But uh, otherwise, it's just nice watching the butterflies and have it. There are lots of different ways to catch a butterfly. You can do a butterfly net. You can do a, a little a house and put in their favorite food. And then the, when the butterfly comes in, you close the doors and then the, you can watch the butterfly go through its different stages. So there's lots of different things that you can do with butterflies and watch them grow. The best is watching them out in nature. So when next time you're out walking, see how many different types of butterflies you can see. You can get a butterfly identification book and see how many different types of butterflies there are up here in the uh, Northern California, Sierra Nevada mountains. And enjoy walking around and seeing the butterflies and how they fly around in the woods. Thank you.